Hello everyone, I'm Geek Freak and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Death Battles. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Death Battles, Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z, well, the Dragon Ball franchise, versus Jiraiya from Naruto. Oh dude, this is going to be sweet. Oh, I can't wait. So if you, if you guys haven't seen this video, go, go and watch that video first. As soon as you do that, come back watch me, watch this. So I said, let's continue. <coughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say okay. Before I start, I just want to say I have a cold, so I do apologize. That, that, that's why I'm like all sniffly and like slow. So, so, I'm slowing down a little bit. So uh, if I, if I ever do sneeze, it uh, d d during like the reaction or, so, or something like that, or if I'm sniffling, uh, I do I do apologize. I do have a cold. I'm re really sorry about that. And uh, yeah, just okay. So just just want to get that out of the way. So let's continue with this now. Who do I think is going to win? Master Roshi. Definitely Master Roshi. Because here's the thing. Master Roshi, at this point in the uh, Dra Dragon Ball franchise, is definitely planetary. He he's definitely pla planetary, uh, well, dest destruction at the very least. That's what I'm talking about. He, he is plan planetary destruction levels. If I, if, I just, if I had to say, I would say that he he's on par with Vegeta when, when, he ca when it came to, like... Um, uh, what's it, what's it called? Came came to Earth in Dragon Ball Z, or m maybe even stronger than that. You know, I think he is stronger than that. Because it, it, because remember in the in the uh, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you in a second in Dragon Ball Super. I mean, I mean he was taking on like freezers, like uh, goons, and he and he was like in the uh, Universal Tournament. He was he's pretty damn powerful. So let's see. Um, he he has he has the the, the Mafuba, which which is. Which is an obvious one. He has the Kamehameha. He has um. Well, let me think. Let me think. Actually, actually that's, that's the only one. I could... Oh, I know. Wait a sec. He, he has he has that that, that sort of, like lightning thing that uh, that keep that uh, uh, that's like it's like sort of like electricity thing, and it keeps him in place. Oh, what else does he have? He's got. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Well, well, yeah. I mean, that's that's all I can th think of. But he, he he did manage to destroy a moon. That's that's what he, that's what he did. Now, as for Jiraiya, I just I just want to say that even though I'm I'm going to be rooting for Master Roshi, I do think he's going to win. Not because I hate Jiraiya, but because I know for a fact that Master Roshi is going to win this. I, I'm one hundred percent certain of that. Because simply because he's a, he's like very, very very powerful. Although although saying that Jiraiya, you know, he, he uses like you know tactics and stuff like that. So I mean, it it could be like go it could, it could go either way. Cause he, cause he, no. I mean, brawn or power doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. I mean, if you can use your brains to actually outwit the the um, the enemy. But there's also one other thing that we need to discuss. Um, the characters can sense key, and they they can they can see they can see things, see things that you know faster than the speed of light. I mean, many many times over. It's especially when it, when it comes to like. Uh, like like Goku, I mean, here's the thing with with Goku, in in his base form, <coughs> I mean, he can he can he can see uh, th things going so fast in his in his base form than he than he, than he could ever do in uh, in Z, but when it comes to like his like Super Saiyan Blue, which is a fifty times multiplier on top of Super Saiyan God, and with the Kokan times twenty, I mean, he I mean he's he's so incredibly flat, <laughs> incredibly fast, incredibly fast that uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, maybe he can even see. F See how, how fast the flash is going. Yeah, I know, I know it's it's a it's a bit of a stretch there, but um, we're not here to talk about Goku. We're talking about Master Roshi and Jiraiya. Now, um, for for Jir as for Jiraiya, uh, I mean he's got like lo loads of um things going from he's got like that, su that summoning jutsu. He's got uh, he's got he's got like that armor armor thing that goes around him. He has um, let's see what else he does yeah. um. He's he's got Sage Mode, which is um pretty pretty damn impressive. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna come out and say it. I think that uh, Master Roshi's gonna win this one simply because of how of how powerful he is. S simply because, <laughs> um, 
it's 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 a uh a pretty pretty much a a, a very uh you know a cut case close here so well i could no a case cl you, you know what i'm trying to say it's 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 one side that's that's what i'm trying to say so uh, you know what i'm gonna say master roshi's gonna win this one not because not because i like dragon ball z more but because it, it he's a plant he's a plant buster at, at this point at, at the at the very least i mean can jirai do that can can, can jirai like you know just dis destroy a freaking planet i don't think so so um e even if master roshi you know you know is, is outpowered he can easily just use the mafuba so uh yeah with all said and done let's get to watching <laughs> oh god i got itchy nose Ugh. okay so this is death battles master roshi versus Jiraiya, Dragon Ball Z vs Naruto, and 3, 2, 1, and... Go! You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? The gift of genetic discovery. Ugh. 23 Me DNA kits are on sale from now until December 25th. It's a testing service that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. And it's super easy to use. Just spit in a tube, mail it in, set up an online account, and then they'll send you a personalized report in just a few weeks. We love learning about the unknown here at Death Battle, so... I, 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 know, I, know, I know where my ancestry is. It's, it's, from, it's from India. I never knew about. Now until December 25th, get 30% off <coughs> any 23 Me kit by ordering at 23me.com slash death battle. That's the number 23andme. Dot com slash death so, so, some some of some of these um 23 and me things uh, you know these, these dna thingies uh, you know aren't um oh enough about those sort of this the finest warriors are never developed on their own while some are simply molded by their enemies the best usually seek the wisdom of a master oh yeah for some reason is a weird old pervert <laughs> Roshi, Turtle Hermit, Master Roshi, to Dragon Ball's greatest hero, Woo! and Jiraiya, the Toad Sage and instructor to the most famous ninja of all. He's whiz and I'm boom. I love, I love, I love these two. Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, here we go. Woo! I'm excited. Goku is without <clears throat> doubt one of the greatest martial arts champions. You better make a part three of of Goku as Superman. Don't you mean become a Super Saiyan then? But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roche. A martial artist I demand a part so three. Powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things, really, if you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. <laughs> Anyway, when he was a hip youngin, Roshi studied under the legendary Master Potato. What? Potato. My Potato. Okay. Head, these masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy or ki. <laughs> Similar to many real life Chinese martial arts, ki is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your ki becomes. Oh. Roshi can use his ki to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun <laughs> foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined the these techniques and created his own martial arts style, Turtle School. <laughs> creepy old man Turtle School, creepy old man Turtle School. <laughs> Roshi and I have tell, he's a turtle <laughs> No, it's not about beating people up as slow as you can like I first thought. Turtle School, or Kame style, includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask me, is just a missed opportunity to get wasted. <laughs> Funny. By delivering milk up a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees. There's a Kamehameha. The, 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 the shot surprise. Yeah, that's the one. Focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except for one. <clears throat> oh, I forgot I can't fly. <laughs> Despite most of the students learning it at some point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rival, the Crane School. Ah. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stuck well, to properly learn the skill. Technically, it has been around for a very long time. Of How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed, or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn, I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. <laughs> Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, yes, medically speaking.
looking at it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? I want to be chasing tail for centuries. Good luck with that. <laughs> but with all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Kame! Kame! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Gotcha. Uh, anyway. To be yeah. honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. This peak was inspired by the <coughs> real life flaming mountains in China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigas. He destroyed a freaking moon! Small stuff compared to the time he obliterated okay. the entire okay. moon in about five seconds. That's gotta be worth, what, like 10, 20 mountains? Wait, how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. To obliterate the moon in its entirety, the Kamehameha <laughs> struck it with a force akin to three octillion tons of TNT. Damn. Uh, 27 zeros, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit, Roshi's <laughs> super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point blank range. Man, the Naruto fans are gonna be pissed. Like British stand, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. Damn. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within five milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. Okay, well, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you get, get anything from Dragon Ball Super? Which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Huh. Oh, my hands can move that fast. I'd finally stop getting married. <laughs> <laughs> this speed is far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself. I see. Every day. Destroy the mountain, Sadly, Kamiha, caught. Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just. Obliterate the moon, withstand Goku's base, Kamiha. Of the army defend here. Okay. Like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. He's he, he used to take down he, dozens he, of Frieza soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even <laughs> took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta many, many years ago. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take Which, him. Which not technically and canon. to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. Oh yeah. Okay, let's, let's go for Jirai now. Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are quite as No, it doesn't have against Goku. Yeah, not a chance. Know that's crazy, because, you know, but not <clears throat> just anyone can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Naruto would become the Hidden Leaf's greatest champion and seventh Hokage, but this would never Ooh. be possible without his training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? The what? Hey, Wiz, why did the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs? Uh, well, don't let his <laughs> crude demeanor fool you. Oh, don't worry <laughs> about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> oh, God, what the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage. Chakra to do ninja magic. Uh, Chakra is a form of life energy. Enjoy alcohol, in rising women. Chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body, which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment. Huh. However, in the world of Naruto, Chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called Jutsus. Huh. Thank you. Like <laughs> most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of Jutsus. Taijutsu, yeah. or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. Genjutsu, harnessing chakra as elemental weapons and tools. Yeah. Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation. Yeah. And Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. 
Jiraiya mastered as many styles as okay. he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. Rasengan. With it, he gathers his chakra into a spinning orb of death, modeled up the Frog Katana. Beast bomb. Where's it? Where's it? Can wipe out a whole village all at once. Uh, and blah, 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 blah. Turn into a frog technique. Sister main into a shield like a porcupine, and fire the hairs out like a needle. Where's his uh, sage mode? A keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques. Such as the invisibility jutsu, huh. which you'd think would be perfect for stealth well, or evidence. missions, but he actually developed uh, it specifically like, uh, for others. Uh, research? Where else is a self respecting writer supposed to get his uh, inspiration from? Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. <laughs> is you sure Jutsu isn't just like another name for crack? After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaku, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques, like the toad oil bullet, Ooh. flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads, Dude. learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery Summons, on force, this such is as this hiding this in shadows and manipulating shot to me, blah blah blah. The powerful toads were perfect allies. Where's, he can trap his okay, where's, where's his um, sage mode? Transform them into toads for interrogation. Don't, don't miss that. Even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen. Gamabunta! I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamabunta, the chief toad! And you're an idiot! Now shut up! <laughs> And through Fukasaku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Ah, there we go. There it is. It takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Like martial art frog Kata and a deadly Genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chant. Which sounds weird. You know what? I say let let's let let him up. Jutsu, cuz if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five, leaving Ooh. your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Oh crap. Sage mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Yeah, I think I think Roshi might have which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. Oh, cool. The of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour. Putting hey? ninja like oh, crap. I think, I think Master Roshi might be, might be in trouble. Now I get why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than 100 times faster than bullets? While Jiraiya isn't exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, he's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose see. to become Let's... a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And huh. he's a gutsy one, like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. His arm off, crushed his throat in, and failed him five times. But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. Oh crap. <sighs> you know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. As you can see, you fail! Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm! Rare beauties fall for me! When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness! <sighs> You see, this 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 is what we're missing in today's anime. But the diff different styles. All we get is just Maui Ma Ma looking faces. Oh, criminy! Oh, but did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano. Chipotle. There's plenty to choose from since they offer 12 new recipes each week. All you have to do is choose the two, three, as, 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 long, as long as Wiz doesn't right to do that uh, thingy Plus, uh, technique again, I'll be we'll be right. It's easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non-GMO and the meat has no added hormones. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's cool. pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. 
So check out this week's menu <laughs> and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com You know what? You know Blue Apron? I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can... This... But right now, it's time for a death battle! <sighs> okay, we've got six minutes. Here we go, 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 here we go. Who's this geezer? Hey, Fuzzy Range, where are the pictures? It's just words in here. Ho 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 ho, here we go. You fool! Words paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves. Oh, okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Jeez, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. <laughs> but I did! Uh oh. Come on, Roshi. <coughs> Come on, Roshi. Okay, what's going on? Oh, crap. The heck is this? You're stuck now, Baldy. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Come on. There he goes. Oh no! Oh crap. No, Roshi! Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that, I have to admit, that's pretty cool. Uh oh. Oh crap. What the hell? He's a quick one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was awesome. Go, go. Uh oh. You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Oh crap. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no way. He's at it. You old fool. I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. <gasps> what? What the hell? What just happened? Yes! Nice! <laughs> screw, screw you, Nacho fans. I'm joking. How did that happen? was certainly one of the most powerful warriors of his own world, but there's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclassed him. One guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. Uh. So that was pretty obvious. 
The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear-cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Uh. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around, and neither did his kitty chasing. So scale to Goku's progress, Come on. it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed, and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable that Jiraiya could use his tactical talent to outsmart and outlast Roshi. <coughs> Screw Roshi's you, pervert! <coughs> Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super age, but he's got an eye for traps and sticky situations. Like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200 I, I don't, I don't know, something seems fishy here. I mean, I'm this happy that Roshi that won, but... traveled over 57 million miles per hour. Damn. More than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no huh. way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. <laughs> the winner is Master Roshi. Okay, okay, yeah, but how did... Yeah, but how did he, um... Thanks for watching, everyone. I said, hold on, how did, um... Did, did he get all, all that to jutsu? I mean, is that possible? This episode, you can download it by clicking the link below. Okay, let's let's do this. What what you got next for us? Okay, I don't know who this is. Okay. Season final. Thanos versus Doctor. So okay, I'm, I'm I'm gonna say it. Thanos is gonna win. We we all, we all know we all know this. Darkseid's powerful, but Thanos is much more powerful, especially with the Infinity Gauntlet. I'm gonna tell you now. All right, I, I bet I bet you guys I bet you guys fifty dollars. Uh, okay, I, I'm not gonna do that, but I, I'm gonna, I bet I bet you guys that Thanos is gonna win this one simply because in one of the comics he he, he managed to make to make the entirety of um of Mo of Marvel disappear. But on the other hand, uh, if if um. If, if the Infinity Gauntlet, Gauntlet isn't in the Marvel Universe, he can't, he can't do nothing. So, um, if the, so if uh, Thanos is not in, in his universe, well, in the Marvel Universe, the Infinity Gauntlets are, um, are, are, use, are useless. So, it, it, it depends. Um, if if um, Thanos is in his universe, he could probably win. In, in, in our sort of Marvel Universe, I, uh, it, I, it, it could go either way. Um, so... Yeah, it, it can go either way. If if Thanos isn't in, in in his universe, he um Dark Side might actually win. But if um if he is in his universe, Thanos would win. So it's 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 a like uh uh sort of like a fifty fifty thing. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with uh, Thanos for it for the next one. So uh, <laughs> oh damn, that was awesome. I I I'm more I'm more there to be honest with you. It is a thing. Can, can uh, like you know, Jutsu actually work on on, on Dragon Ball Z characters? I mean, I mean, doesn't it, doesn't like you know, like hypnosis or something like that just only works on like people that has like chakra? Because like nearly every single character in the Naruto verse, you know, has chakra or something like that. I I, I don't know. Uh, saying saying that. Uh, let me let me think. Let me think for a second. Sorry. Sorry, I do apologize. I got a cold. Uh, let me think. 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 Um, oh, okay. I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of pissed off Naruto fans out there who says, "Oh, Jirai, Jirai has got like jutsu and all that stuff." But I mean, that's that's the thing. I'm I'm wondering. I mean, e even though um, uh, Death Bell isn't as uh, well, it's a complicated one. It's it's kind of like um. Majin Buu versus uh, Kirby. Yeah, I know there's lots of people out there who, who's like, you know, giving me crap for that. But uh, you know, I, li I like to like you know, make one hundred percent sure that every angle of the of um, of these characters you know, are are you know uh, <coughs> are explored. I mean, obviously Roshi is much more powerful. He he's much more faster and uh, in, in all angles. But again, what about the illusion? But okay, hold on. 
with, with that with that with that woman uh well that's a character in uh in Dragon Ball Super he, he was facing off against like he was like facing off against illusions I mean is it like isn't there like you know like le levels of illusions like there's like you know hypnosis to absolute old cr old crap like what what what, what Jirai had on there uh so, saying that uh it, it it was it was an, it was enjoyable it, it was an enjoyable fight well considering Master Roshi won but the, again, that doesn't mean I hate, I hate Jorah. I mean, I like Jorah. He's um he's one he's one of the most badass uh, 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 Naruto uh, characters ever. So uh, yeah, I know there's going to be lots of uh, Naruto fans out there. There's going to be really pissed pissed off about this. But you know what? What what can you, what can you do? I eh? <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty awesome. So uh oh what what, what can I suggest for a fight? Yeah, I want Goku Goku versus Superman three. But I I want I want to I want to like you know, you know see it like you know for t ten yeah okay they're obviously not gonna listen to me obviously but um I, I want to see the fight in like three in three D not not two D and not like pixelated like like that but I want to like to see it, like ten minutes long and uh, well I, I made a video about that so uh, I'm I'm not gonna go into details uh so yeah that was pretty freaking sweet I like. I like that. I mean, when, when I when I saw like you know Master Roshi versus uh, Jory, I'm like, whoa! I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. And to those of you who are saying, okay, where's the other like Death Ball vi videos that you want? Okay, to be honest, I haven't seen like you know the, the others that came out, uh, you know, for the, for the past like you know year or something like that because I've been like doing other videos. But I will get to those videos as soon as I can, so you guys can rest assured. So um, yeah, that was pretty freaking awesome. And the next battle, the next battle, I'm gonna go with Thanos. So, yeah, you guys know what to do, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching, and if there's a series you want me to check out, and review, and give my thoughts on it, or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do, or any reactions, or responses, or rants on anything geeky, just leave links and comments in the comment sections below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social medias, I'm on Minds.com, Twitch, Dailymotion, and Hatron, Reddit, BitChute, aka the new YouTube, DeviantArt, Discord, Vidme, Gab, Twitter, Tumblr, Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, and my other social medias are down there in the description box below. So if you want to go and check them out, please do. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And please go and check out my new skeptic channel, Gypsy Freak. It's also down there in the description box below. Peace out.